So for years and years and years, you've probably heard about volatility, focus on volatility, focus on the most volatile stocks. And geez, I think if you look at like the Google trends for stock market volatility over the last year and a half, you know, the post 2020 world, it's just, it is the number one thing you hear discussed. Focus on volatility, look for volatility, etc. Today, I'm going to give you the three biggest things you need to look for to spot these crazy volatile stocks. Hey everyone, Lee Train with Stocks Trade, Tim Bowen here. Before we get started, started, start, start, started, starting, you know, hey, choose whatever tense you like. Um, You know, what was the joke? It was like the past and the future walked into a bar and they ran into the present. It was tense. I think I butchered that joke. Anyway, choose your tense. That being said, like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified as soon as we <laughs> go live that being said, today we're going to be talking about how to spot the most volatile stocks every single day. I mean, this is one of those terms you probably hear nonstop, and it's one of the simplest things to do, but if you're new, it's probably confusing. So that being said, right off the bat, we're always going to be looking for the biggest percent gainers of the day. Okay, that being said, definitely hit the link below. Check out the trial for Stocks to Trade, fully featured version. You have all the scans. You can see every video. I mean, I mean, if you want to talk about volatility, you could look at every single video I've done on this channel for five years, and you're going to see I've always got my top percent gainers scan. I've always got my new high a day scan, and I'm always running Oracle and all these other scans that look for the biggest gainers of the day, okay? Why do we care about that? Well, the old saying goes, and it's so true, that big gains tend to beget even bigger gains. I mean, when a stock is up big on everyone's scanner, I mean, ultimately, what we're looking for on these low price stocks is we're, we're trading mania, okay? We're not trading uh, fundamentals. We're not trading true believers. Please never be a bag holder in any of these stocks. I mean, these are simply trading vehicles that we can go in and out of based on volatility. And when they show up on everyone's scans, more eyeballs means more potential buyers, which means more volume, which means more potential for those morning moves, midday moves, and afternoon moves. I've done videos on that three-wave idea that we see, especially with float rotating stocks. So keep that in mind. Always start out with the biggest gainers, then step through and look for hot sector plays, okay? Um, YVR is an example of that, okay? This stock was up big this morning. You can see it went from a buck 80 to 210 in pre-market, currently kind of grinding sideways, but ran on a 9 a.m. press release. You can see right there down below, 9, 2 a.m., uh, 9 a.m., sign some blah, blah, blah acquisition. We don't care, you know, ultimately, but this is an NFT, non-fungible token, related play okay don't 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 yell at me in the comments um it's loosely tied with nfts okay never forget the stupidity of penny stocks we like that so it is loosely tied with nfts they have a press release and it's that big gainer so that brings everybody excited gets everybody fired up next thing i want you to focus on is always have whether a physical database and that could be a spreadsheet, that could be Evernote, or a mental database of former runners. And the reason I bring up YVR is you can see, just looking at a one-year chart, I mean, this thing's ran further back. But if you look back last October, big run, a decent run in January, then a huge run here in March. This is when the NFT news first kind of dropped you know, before March, nobody even really knew what an NFT was. You know, the news drops here. This thing went from two bucks to as high as eight bucks intraday. Then you can see again, even as recently as a month ago, back in middle of July, from a buck fifty to almost three bucks. So you've got that history of running. So now we're checking through this list. So now again, today it's a big gainer. You know it's a former runner, whether you do that mentally or you just look at the chart. I mean, that's why something I preach and preach is, is using multiple time frames. Always look at 
the what I call the big chart, the one year chart, the two year chart, the five year. I mean, typically don't go beyond five year, but I know some traders like to look at even older 10, 20 year charts and you're looking for those big runners. Cause I mean, listen, whether you made a big gain or you took a big loss, people remember that. And that's why we focus on these former runners. Now, hopefully, you know, everyone did well on it. They remember it. They're like, whoa, I remember last time on YVR. So it sticks in the me me memory. But also, I mean, listen, you can see this stock fails every time. I mean, it ends up falling apart a day later, a week later, et cetera. So if people took the big loss, they want revenge. They want to get back. They you know, never revenge trade, but people do it. So when they see this ticker on their scans, they either remember the good times and they want to they want to repeat that, or they remember the bad times and they want revenge, which again brings in more buyers. That's why we love those former runners, and this is one of the reasons why I recommend keeping notes as much as possible. I think writing things down. If you're on pre market prep, you see me write stuff down all the time. I do that a lot to share with people on the Steady Trade team. Which, by the way, if you're interested in more. You know, learning more of this and, and really getting in depth, hit the link below. Check out the Steady Trade team. Two webinars a day, every single day. But that being said, I keep these notes so I can share with the team. But also, I mean, it's been scientifically proven over and over again. There is, you know, you can ingrain memories and, and ingrain retention by either typing things out or writing those things down. I mean, listen, we've all had a high school class or a college course. And I mean, you're listening to the instructor, but I mean, you, you're you either taught this or you figure this out. I mean, you take those notes. You may never may never review the notes. I mean, I have reams and reams of notes, you know, from classes that I've taken, but I might never review them, but there is a connection between writing things down and remembering them. So now you've got a former runner, you got some news, it's the biggest percent of the gainer. Then we always like to look at low float stocks and float rotation. So again, going back to YVR, you can see 5 million float, traded 5 million shares as we head in the middle of the day, consolidating around VWAP. This is definitely a potential trade into the afternoon for that recipe for a very volatile stock. So understand, look at all these things. There's a lot more to it. Check out the steady trade team. But at a minimum, if you're looking at these three main things, big percent gainers of the day, former runner, low float stock with good volume, which creates float rotation, you've got a great potential trade. Doesn't, you know, listen, YVR might not break the high of the day, but if it does, great risk to reward there. So that being said, everyone, hopefully this was useful. As I mentioned, check out the Steady Trade team. It's a small group. I would love to work with you. Um, you can hit that link below. We can start tomorrow. We got two webinars tomorrow. Monday, I've got three. It's you know, it's a, just a great way. I've got over 2,700 webinars in the archive, going on 3,000, um, all with notes, all annotated, all searchable. Um, a lot of these stocks repeat. I mean, we're trading the same stocks from five years ago. And listen, ANY, ANY, one of the biggest runners of the day. This stock has been in play, I don't even know how many times since I started the steady trade team five years ago. I mean, reverse splits, big runs. I mean, I remember this run back in 2018. I mean, look at this move. So these they repeat and they repeat. And the more you have access to that inf information, the better the likelihood you can nail. All right, everyone, have a great day, and we'll see you next time.